The mission is to catch a shark around the one and a half to two metre range. This shark will be an educational ambassador at Ocean Park, but only for a short period of time. Oh, Badger, yes! Leopard? Yep. What? Can you just stay there and keep eyes on it? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Leopard shark. Okay. We're going to get this for the park, bro. The only real way um, to, to collect them is with non-powered hand tools. <laughs> All we're going to do is we're going to get our mate Dunk to just jump off the front of the boat, literally, on, hopefully, straight on top of the pectoral fins. So he'll just jump straight on the shark and we'll get it up to the back of the boat and then straight on the stretcher and into the life tank. That's the idea. All going well. <laughs> that absolute classic. Duncan and Eddie work together to, to take the marine stuff to the next level. It's just critical that we don't lose sight of the leopard shark. Yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure we're, you know where he is. I can't see it. Yep, 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 got it. I'll try and shepherd it away from that seagrass. So the key is to use the wake of the boat as a bubble curtain to keep that shark where we want her and away from the deep water where we would have lost her. Dunk gives me the OK. He's never happened before, by the way. He's never missed. What's that? What? Eyes on the shark. Eyes on the... Yeah, I got the shark. Get on, get on. It's all clear. I missed the first because of its pure strength. It was just outpowering me. So it sort of seems easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. After the miss, it gets hectic because that's when we can lose the shark. The number one thing is for Dad to keep eyes on the shark. That way I can put the boat in neutral, get dunked back on the boat and around again to have another crack. He's just going under this seagrass bank. Yep, got him. Got him? Yeah. Yeah, I had him by the tail, but. So I felt like we had everything perfect. We'd corralled the shark with a bubble curtain. She was in the right position. Giddy up. Dunks, don't miss it this time, buddy. We need the shark. Just... Yeah, straight ahead, Dunk. Didn't even get a word from Dunk. Just saw his feet leave the deck and do the Superman through the air. And then Dunk popped up with the, with the shark at the back of the boat, which is the, yeah. That's amazing. From that moment that I'm in the water with Dunk, um, we are following a process. We know that our number one priority is to getting the animal safely from the ocean to a stretcher and into a live tank. And its well-being is our number one priority. Actually, I can't go any faster. Yeah, it looks, it looks primitive, but it, it's, it's literally the best way to do it without harming it. It's been great to see Eddie learn off of Dunk and Dunk and learn off Ed. OK. OK, I'm good. Just one either peg, one either peg. Just gently die on the hills. That's OK. That's OK. We forget that Dad's a qualified veterinarian with over 40 years of experience, so to have someone like that on the boat, if anything goes wrong, is just invaluable. A really, really beautiful shark for Ocean Park, and a lot of lucky people get to come and experience such an incredible animal up close and personal, which is fantastic. A leopard shark is something that Duncan and I have, have spoken about just for that many years. We'd, we'd always, we'd love to get one and, and show it to people. Extra oxygen is added to the live tank to help the shark relax, while the team prepare to carefully relocate the leopard shark to its temporary home. Uh, the process now is we're going to actually remove it from the uh, live tank straight into the stretcher, into the shallows, straight up the hill and into, the, into um, its display. I would prefer it if the shark is out of water for less than 60 seconds. You killed it, mate. On one side, I think, yeah, this is a lot of fun. The other side, I think, hey, I'm too old for this stuff. So 
So you think finding the leopard shark's good and then catching it's good, but the moment that animal carefully goes into the live tank, that's just sheer joy. It perfectly mirrors the shallows of Shark Bay. Sand bottom, shallow water, metre and a half depth, and plenty of space. So it just could not be more perfect for that animal. <laughs>